All right, John, so we're here at the Ultimate Planet Side 2 Showdown, and like, are you excited about tonight? Well, I mean, let's be honest, it's one of those events which gives the other two factions a little bit of an opportunity to think they're going to win before we completely smash them, so, you know, it's mostly for show, but it's always nice to be able to display our tactical superiority and just roll over everybody else. Now, the real, the real exciting thing about tonight is that the announcement of the partnership with MLG is actually going pro now, or in the process of going pro. Yeah, absolutely. It's an interesting idea, certainly. And from what I understand, it's very much a long-term partnership. Like, you're not going to see suddenly this big tournament format appear after two weeks on the MLG Pro Circuit. But what you will see is more of a long-term effort to see how does this game work from an esports standpoint and how exactly are they going to pull it off. And then coming up with the format and the systems in order to make it friendly to watch. And whether or not they can actually do that on a large scale. That's going to be a big challenge, but it's certainly not impossible. And we've seen at previous events like PAX and E3, people really like watching the big battles so if you have the ability to do that but also add a little bit of sports commentary in there and make it competitive yeah damn right it could work that's like one of the real challenges too because a lot of the pro gaming is one-on-one -on -one, you know teams of four but this could be teams of practically 30 on 30. Yeah, it could be even more than that even. I mean, we're talking about the possibility of 600 on 600, which sounds absolutely crazy, but think about it for a second. Think about how great it would be if we could get a lot of more casual players into the more competitive side of things in a way that makes sense. Like, you don't have to practice for two years to then be on a five-man team to then go and play in MLG's open bracket to then go and do all this other stuff. You can just log onto the server and you can be part of a, a large competitive effort. And it's there's no question it's going to be challenging. I mean, the, you've got to try and sell that concept to everybody, right? And the initial reactions are kind of, I suppose, bemusement and a little bit of puzzlement from a lot of people thinking, how does this work? But esports is niche and esports is always always evolving. So we see games crop up that we don't expect become seriously popular. So I think there's a lot of potential here. And, and what's going to be your go-to class for tonight? Well, I'm going to be alternating between light and heavy assault. Heavy assault if I know I'm going to be taking a lot of fire and I need plenty anti-vehicle. And I'll be going light assault for anything that involves simply maneuverability. So if I'm going to be fighting in a biolab, I'll be using light assault. If I'm going to be fighting essentially in any facility where it would give me an advantage to be higher than anybody else, then I'm going to be light assault. And, um, and as far as uh, the competitive aspect of this game, like, what's the biggest challenge when you're playing with other players as a team? Well, I think it's a matter of logistics. You can have a team that's suddenly completely cut off from their objective because they haven't thought about the logistics of attacking this location. Do they have a connection on the map so they can actually capture it to begin with? Will that connection stay there? Because there's nothing stopping another squad going behind them and cutting them off again, at which point they then get stuck and then get obliterated. Do they have enough Sunderer support? Do they have enough spawn points so they manage to secure the area? Do they know what kind of forces they're going to be facing as they enter the area? And it's not just a case of spawn and shoot, because that actually does nothing for you. This is not a kill-death-based game. You respawn very quickly. Killing people is not really all that relevant. It's playing the objective in the most extreme way possible that actually gets you results. What do you think about their new roadmap mechanic that they're adding to the game, where fan feedback plays a tremendous role in what they add to future installments and patches? I think, honestly, it's a nice way to crystallize what we're already getting from places like the forums, from places like Reddit side and things like that, and putting an official system up that says, this is what allows you to indicate your priorities to us as developers and this is what we're going to try and do for you and right now what we see is at the time of this recording one of the most popular things is the spawn tunnels now the reason for that is that everyone wants the metagame to shift towards a defensive metagame and the defensive metagame is much more fun because it means longer fights means more interesting fights and it means you're going to have a lot of great combat around bases that involve a lot of push and shove and tug of war kind of stuff. So I think that anything that allows us to express that to the developers in the clearest way possible has got to be positive for the game. And if you could add anything or take away anything to the current version of Planet Side 2, what would it be? It would probably be the warp gate, yeah, warp gate rotation on a weekly basis. It's simply because if just doing something as simple as changing the default territory of every faction every week really means that you get more interesting battles. It also means you get a clearer look at the balance because you take away the whole, oh, is this faction imbalanced or is it just because they happen to have this territory which makes capping this continent easier? You get rid of all of that and you can look at it with a clearer eye. And it also means you get to fight in bases that you don't usually fight in. So that's more variety for everybody. So I think that's a, a really nice, simple way of making things work.